right, so we start with Luke in front of the Crispus Attic Center where he has a gun put to his head by a youngster. Meanwhile, we have Detective Ridley reviewing the murder scene with a nice spinning sequence that spins us right into her office with her partner where they are attempting to put clues together where the gun deal went bad. Cottonmouth shows up at Pop's place with his goons to get info on Chico's whereabouts. Luke stares at Shades with anger and breaks his broom handle. Obviously, something went down during their time in prison. After the confrontation, Pops collects on a favor from Luke that he is unwilling to accept to find Chico. Detective Ridley and her partner are pounding the pavement looking for Chico. We learn that Ridley has some game and is a b-ball court legend. Back at the center, we find Cottonmouth and his cousin, Councilwoman Mariah Dillard, where she tells Cottonmouth that it is urgent that she get the money back. Later, Luke has found Chico and the money, but when he pleads with Chico to come back to Pop's place, Chico refuses. Afterwards, Luke goes back to tell Pops the news, and we get a flashback to when Cottonmouth and Pops ran together with Chico's father. We also find out how they got their nicknames as well as Cottonmouth for the three teeth that he lost and Pops for the sound that his fist makes when he knocks somebody out. So then Chico shows up at Pops shop with the bag of money in hand, but Pops is very upset with Chico and what he has done. Then out of nowhere, Turk Barris pops up in the back, seeing Chico with the money. Turk quickly leaves the shop, only to run into Detective Ridley. Turk was an obvious plant in the shop, on the lookout for Chico. Detective Ridley and her partner question Pop and Luke about the whereabouts for Chico. Then, of course, we get our special musical guest in Faith Evans with our main action sequence. Shades and Tone, after getting tipped off by Turk, show up at Pop's place firing a hail of bullets into the shop. Cage tells the kid to play dead as Shades and Tone enter the shop to retrieve the money. As Pop's laid dying, he asks Cage to make a promise to move forward always. Chico survives his wounds and is carted off to the hospital. Detective Ridley is perplexed that Cage was not hit by the hail of bullets entering the shop. Cage is seemingly lost after witnessing Pops die in his arms. So then we are on the roof of Cottonmouth's club where he is told of what went down and Pops' death. Tone makes the mistake of calling him Cottonmouth. Just then Turk shows up looking for his finder fee. Cottonmouth throws Tone over the side. Then we flash back to the beginning where the kid has the gun to Cage's head. Cage takes the gun from the kid, shoots himself as the kid goes off running. All right, so I wanted to give my final thoughts on this episode. Uh, I really love this episode. Great character development. I was very sad to see Pops killed off, but I understood before it happened that Pops' death would be the springboard for Luke to become our hero. Love the flashback with young Pops and Cottonmouth. Love the tie-in with Chico's dad, Fredo, and Pops. It explains the love and loyalty that Pops has for Chico. I also like how Pops and Cottonmouth got their nicknames. Uh, very interesting information right there. So I thought this was a great episode, guys. Um, really looking forward to episode three. A couple of questions going forward. What happens now that Pops is gone? What happens to Chico now that Pops is gone? Will Cage address Pops' death with Cottonmouth? Questions I hope we get the answers to in the next episode. But I want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like button. And if you like the content on the channel, please do consider subscribing. And I really, really want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, you guys have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Thank you.